Hello, Bonnie. Welcome to the class. So, hi, Snow White. White, sit down. Welcome to the class, Bonnie. Hello, Snow White. So, now it's time for class. All right, Bonnie, let me ask you something. What did we talk about in our previous class, Bonnie? Um, we talked about starting a party. Okay. Cla okay. I was the ta the the title of the lesson was. Uh, we learned some vocabulary like blow the balloon. Yeah, that's right. Classroom party, and um, we saw vocab vocabulary related, such as. Oh, I'm it now, right? Okay, blow the balloon. What else? Um, put up the decorations. Put up the decorations. That is right. Put up the music. That is correct. Juice. That is correct. The pizzas. Yeah, that is right. Put out the cupcakes. What else? Put out the cupcakes. That is correct. And what else, Bonnie? Just like that. Okay, so now we are having a new lesson. Let me just go ahead. Let me just go back and refresh with you the previous content given to you in the previous class that is very important let me share let me share my screen to you so this way we can refresh all right the the content given to you in the previous lesson let me see if you can see my screen can you see let me share can you see my screen Yes, I can see because Alex was just starting to have stare screening. Okay, so it was a previous lesson. Let's just refresh a little bit so that this way you may be able to remember the majority of the things given. Okay, it was the previous lesson, class party. It was our last lesson, okay? Then uh, okay. especially we work with this vocabulary all right, let me see. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Okay, I think not. It was not that one. Give me a second. Okay. Was this one number number two? This one. Okay. So let me just refresh a little bit of the previous lesson. So as you told me, Bonnie. So we covered this vocabulary. We were talking about especially uh, things that we can have in a party, like the music, set out the music and all that. So the previous one was starting a, a party. Let me see if you can see this. I'm waiting for you. Loading. Loading, okay. So we covered this vocabulary. Do you remember? Okay. How do you say that in how do you say that in English? For the juice. For the juice. So something else? Serve the pizzas. And in regards of the music? Of the music, I'm Set sorry. Music. Set up the music. And Blow what about the balloons? Blow up the balloons. Okay. Um, put up the decorations. And put out? Put out the cupcakes. That's right. Well done. So we covered this. We also <laughs> talked about how to ask questions with the future, Bonnie. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember. Okay. For example, if I ask you a question with will that indicates the future, in English, so then you will say, for example, will she pour the juice? If the answer is affirmative, what would you say? Um, yes, she will. Or another time if to say, it's negative, she will, she won't. No, won't she, is will not. That is correct. Perfect. So, okay. Because I learned it in grandma, so I know. Yeah, that was pretty much part of what we saw before. 
okay, in our last class. So now we are gonna have the experience, all right, to discuss the new lesson, okay? What page is this one in your book? Can you see it? Okay, look great. I just uh, it. Today's lesson is class party. Class party. Uh, what page is this one in your in your in your book, Bonnie? Okay, class party. That's right. This this is our okay, lesson. We learned, we learned it already. We covered this part, right? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead with the next one. So we we'll learn this one. Number four, yeah, unit number four. Lesson number three. Lesson number four. So we covered the number three already, right? No. No? Okay, give me a second. Give me just one second. Wait, I didn't learn it. Okay, let's just open it number three, which is the next one because the, the previous one was number two. Our point. Then Bonnie, so remember in the last class we were talking about, I mean, while it is loading, let me ask you. Remember in the last class, we were talking about like parties, activities and all that. And I remember you told me that one of your favorite things are, the, especially when you receive like gift, all right? Do you remember that? Yes, I remember. And uh, what about the music? The music? What about the, uh, the type of music that you like? So. For example, at the party, what is your your preferred type of music? We did, did not disclose this information in the previous class. Could you tell me what is your preferred preferred type of music? Uh, my type of music that I like was the songs in Alan Walker. Okay, is he from Vietnam or from other country? Another country. Oh. The group named Alan Walker. Okay, very nice. You know that group? Uh, not really. I, I have not heard it. Or maybe I, I, I have heard it, but I don't know the group. Because, you know, there are so many songs that we listen to, but we don't know, we don't have any idea who they are. You know, there are singers and musicians that... Alan Walker, wow. It sounds familiar to me. <laughs> Later, I'm gonna check it. This one. I am gonna check it, okay. So we have class party. This is our class. Bonnie, so okay. here we are having some vocabulary that I would like to show. I don't have that vocabulary. You don't have it? So go ahead with the next one, just in case. Okay, my sister. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I know this. Okay. Study, right? Yeah, so the first one, can you tell me what is the first one? Celebrate. Celebrate. Okay. And let me ask you something. What is that you celebrate? Celebrate is like we have a party and someone or celebrate that party. Okay, uh, listen to the question. The question is, um, what is that we celebrate? So you say a party. We can celebrate a party. We can celebrate a birthday. We can celebrate maybe Independence Day. We can celebrate a good moment. We can celebrate all right, something that we did very well. We can celebrate if we pass a test. We can celebrate when a friend of us, a friend, okay, gets good grades. So there are many reasons to celebrate, right? Yes. Bonnie, and what is the next one? Um, session. 
Season. Season. Season, that is moi. Um, moi. What season today? How do you say, uh, you say moi in Vietnamese? Moi. 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 Okay. Moi. So after season, we have tradition. Tradition. Okay. And then after this, we have bunny. Delicious. 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 <laughs> this is, it's pronounced delicious. Remember this. So, right. Delicious, very easy to speak in Vietnam. Just like that. Non. Okay, so let's continue. And then, so we have the next one that is. Um, that is child. Child, that is correct. So the next one is very funny. It's a parade. Samba parade. Yeah, samba parade. Thank you. What is sam samba? Samba parade. Samba, especially uh, that is a Brazilian style. That is a style that comes from Brazil. And then samba is a kind of dance, like a parade. Let me show you here. Athena, I will need to use the Google, Google, Google search auction so you can see it. Let me show you. So the sam Samba Parade, look at here. See this. So let me go ahead. That is something like has to do with the, with the carnival. Let me see. Kids. Let me see here. You see? That's kind of like the samba parade. Sure. Look at here. Oh. It's kind of like carnival, but they, they just like dance and do things like that. And dance like this? Like uh, not like this. It's like uh, they go like wearing like Costumes and these guys and all that, and through a carnival. Oh, now I so understand. That's very, very popular in Brazil. Do you know Brazil? Yes, I South know. South America. They play a lot of football. Brazil. All right, you see? Yes, I see. Brazil, the country of Christ the Redeemer. Oh. The beast Jesus. that. Yeah. Do you see Jesus? I'm sorry. This, this, yeah, this, this statue is located in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. So this is well known as Christ the Redeemer. Um, this, um, can you put it? This one, yes, this picture. Is this you, still right? I'm sorry, you mentioned that if this one is. Um, cool? I see the like. It's like. Yeah, it's a, a, the statue of Christ the Redeemer. I think this, the man is named Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. And the mother and the mother Mary. Yeah, Jesus, savior of the world. Okay, and this is Brazil. So just to go back, so there is where we have the, there is where we ah. have the Samba, Samba Parade. The Samba Parade comes from this country, oh. Brazil. And it's, it became a very popular, uh, you know, music style. So Brazil is a very diverse country. It has a rich culture. So let's continue. Okay. Clear about the Samba Parade, Bonnie? Samba Parade. Um, I like okay. Parade. So let's continue. Then we have, let's continue with the next part. So now we are gonna cover this part of it. So see this here. Okay. Here we are having this grammar, which is the wheel, all right? Pretty much, I know you already learned how to use wheel, but here there is yeah. something different. Here the intention 
is to use the contraction. Yeah. Do you know what is a contraction? Contraction, okay. Bonnie, is like a shorter, shorter way to say something. I would like you to help me reading this. Okay. That is, that is the simple future. You know, obviously, uh, the simple future tense uh, with, uh, with this future tense has questions with the wheel, okay? And with the wheel part that will indicate the future in English. For example, could you please read this sentence? Okay, what will people in Japan do in the spring? That is right. What will people in Japan do in the spring? But look at here. Yeah. Here we can we could say they will celebrate Children's Day. They will yeah. celebrate. However, in order for them not to use they will, it's like you know you say uh, a long uh, a larger yeah. word. Yeah. You know, they use Dale. That's right. They just contract. Yeah. This is a contraction, and they say yeah. Dale. They'll celebrate. Yeah. Right? They'll celebrate. Yeah. Children. Like day plus ill. That's right? right. That is correct. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. But never forget, never forget yeah. that in order for you yeah. to have the contraction of the future, Bonnie, you have you need to have an apostrophe, which is this. Look at here. Okay. I'm okay. Okay, this is the apostrophe. My grandma is up here again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Lori. Hello. Hi, Mom. How are you? Hi. So now, Bonnie. Hi. So Hi. let's see. Now we are going to watch a video. A video. Yeah. So let's see here. Let's let's see some celebrations, all right? All right. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Okay. It's see Chinese it. New Year in Beijing. Chinese New Year. This is a very big celebration. It celebrates the end of winter and the start of spring. People celebrate Chinese New Year every winter. But it's on a different day every year. Chinese New Year has many different traditions. People won't have to work on this day. Before the celebration, families will clean their homes and usually make delicious food. Some families will eat at a restaurant, but most families will eat at home. At 12 o'clock, the family will leave the house or the restaurant and watch the fireworks. Fireworks are also a Chinese New Year tradition. The fireworks are fun because they are colorful and loud. On New Year's Day, the family will have more food. They will eat rice, vegetables, and meat. They will also play games and have fun. Oh, nice. Then they will give presents. Children will get a gift of money called Hongbao. These presents come in red envelopes. In the afternoon, people will meet other families and Very go good. to the temple. That's nice. It's a quiet day for the family. Chinese New Year is fun, and there are many traditions. There are games, food, presents, and fireworks. Very nice. In Vietnam, they have to do like this too.
too, TK Alexey. Let me let me just ask you, Bonnie. So let's talk okay. about this. Can you tell me about traditions in Vietnam? So here we watched this video and we saw what happens, this celebration that is very popular or especially one of the most important celebration in China, which is the Chinese New Year, all right? And right. Uh, we, we saw there that family go, uh, you know, most families, they go to a restaurant to, or maybe they stay together, all together at home. So they share, they have the opportunity to see games, all right, to play together, um, to have a, a very nice food, all right? In addition to this, we see how they go to the temple. We see how they, they deal with fireworks and all that. And what do you think about that, Bonnie? Okay. What can you tell me about the Chinese New Year? And what about the celebrations? You have, do you have similar celebrations there in, Viet in Vietnam, as you told me? Celebrate in Vietnam, right? Vietnam, right? And how is this celebration? Can you tell me? Um, in Vietnam, right? Yeah. Um, Vietnam, we are, we are like all our family will sit together and, and eat chicken and chicken, watermelon and fish. And the, some some family are go to somewhere to watch fireworks. Some some parents watch TV to see fireworks. Okay, uh, all the uh, some parents, right? Yes. Now, and, and the people will make the dragon to play together. Oh, okay, very good. And do you go to the temple together like this, uh, same as in Ch uh, yes. Chinese people do? Yes. Very good. So, uh, in Vietnam, people say if we are eight watermelon, the red, the the lucky will come to us. <laughs> oh, the, okay, you will be, become lucky, right? Yes, but I think the lucky will come if we are do about myself about ourselves. Okay, sounds very interesting. So now, Bonnie, we are having this vocabulary. Then we are going to listen so you can repeat it same way how it is being pronounced in the audio. Listen to this. Page 30. Lesson 4. Celebrations. Okay. B. Listen, point, and say. Number one. One. Celebrate. Two. Number two. Season. Three. Tradition. Number four. Four. Delicious. Number five. Five. Child. Number six. Six. Samba parade. Okay. Can you re can you read it, Bonnie, and repeat it? Okay. Number one. Number three. one. Number two. Season. Number three. Tradition. Number four. Delicious. Number five. Child number six, samba parade. Samba parade, that is correct. Well, I well. think my mom and my grandmother have a problem with each other. They are fight. Oh, that's I'm so I'm sorry to hear that. My mom and my grandmother always do like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry to to hear that, Bonnie. But my dad and my dad very like. The girl, the little girl, always like when I eat. I didn't like to eat this, 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 this one. And my dad always says, like singer and singer and dance for. Mm. Then if I like it, I will eat like that. But that very like children. Oh, I see. So your dad, I see your dad is very interactive. Yes. He's a, he's very, I see that he's very funny based on yes, what you're telling my me. Dad, very funny. So here we are having this celebration. Okay, Bonnie, look at here. We are going to listen this audio 
and read as well. So look at here, give me just one second. So here, we, here it is. C, listen and read. A year Winter, celebrations. Spring, summer. A year of fall. celebrations. A year of celebrations. Okay. People around the world like to celebrate. In each season, there are different celebrations. That is correct. Every celebration has special traditions. In the winter, people in China will celebrate the Lunar New Year. Families will clean their homes, put up decorations, and serve delicious food. Children will get a gift of money called Hung Bao from their parents. In the spring, people in Japan will celebrate Children's Day. They'll put fish decorations called Koinobori on their homes. Children will eat good food and play games. Okay, so in the summer, people in Brazil will celebrate Carnival Day of Watch. That's right. Mm -hmm. So now, Bonnie, I would like you to help me reading. Would you mind okay. re reading this? Let me see how I do it. Remember the steps. When you read, you read carefully. You go like, um, you know, like normal, not too fast, but not too slow. There should be a balance in the reading. Let's see how you do it. Okay. A year of celebrations. Okay. People around the world like to celebrate. In each okay. season, there are different celebrations. Every celebration has special traditions. In winter, people in China will celebrate this lunar year. New Year. New Year. Families will clean their homes, put up the decorations, and serve the delicious food. Children will get a gift of money called Hong Bao oh, from their parents. In the prince, people in China, in Japan, will celebrate Children's Day. They'll, they'll put fish, fish decoration called Coinbury on their homes. Children will eat food and play games. In summer, people in France will celebrate Carnival. They'll watch singers and dance in Sampa Parade. The music will be great. In, in the fall, people in South Korea will celebrate Tushuk. Many people will return to their homes it ate ate rice cakes and wear traditional on traditional clothes. Families will give and give thanks for their food. Very good. So those are traditions across the world. So here we could see Bonnie. So traditions in China, okay, traditions in Japan, traditions in let me see, Brazil traditions in Korea. So there, that is very interesting because we see Bonnie that in many countries, right? In many countries, there are so many traditions and celebrations and all of these traditions, they are being celebrated. So now I am going to ask you these questions, all right? Number one, what will people watch during carnival? And I told you about that. We went through the map. We Google it. Any idea? No. <laughs> Let's see. So what will people watch? Okay. So especially uh, it was regarding, regarding to regarding, all right? Yes. Um, regarding Brazil, do you remember what I told you about Brazil? Yes. And then, what will people watch during the carnival? They watch singers and dance in the summer parade. That is correct. <laughs> well done. That is, that is the answer. All right, that's the answer. 
the, especially the samba parade. This is especially what they are watching or they watch. All right, so let's see, let's go ahead with the next one. Number two, what will children get from their parents for the Lunar New Year? Okay, the children, oh, the children will get, will get this uh, up money called Hongbao. Hongbao. And uh, uh, you told me that the home bow is a gift with money, right? Bowly C. In oh. Vietnam, they say Bowly C. Oh, do you have similar words in Vietnamese, like uh, like in Chinese? That, that, okay. um, I don't know Chinese, China words, but I know, I know Thai word and and so, okay, let me see the. So then the the Chinese gift to children is uh is bow, and how do you say yeah. that is in Vietnam in Vietnamese? In Chinese, they say bow. In Vietnam, I mean like the the gift with money. Oh, in Vietnam they say bow li si bow li si like bow li si bow li si. Yeah. And uh, in Chinese, uh, what is it? Uh, could you please go back and tell me that? Look at here. <laughs> so this one. Can I see it? Okay, so in Chinese, Hong Bao. Hong Bao is Bao Li Si. Let me see. Let me see how you write it in Vietnamese. Oh, is this the same? But this is the same spelling. Okay, that are spelling like well, in bow, Vietnam. bow, the word bow is spelled the same pretty much. Okay, in... let me write all of this. Wait, 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 wait. This one. Okay, let me see. <laughs> bow, bow, li, shi, right? Yes, yes. Bow, li, shi in Vietnamese. And uh, that is a kind of, uh, that is a gift. Bonnie, uh, it, uh, is this a gift? Um, Bali, Bali, in yes, what? Have, like the rating, the rating girl, bow, the rating girl, and it's have the, it's the color red and we put the money in this. Okay, but you do this in Vietnam as well? Yes. Okay. And then in Then in China it was Hongbao. Very interesting. This is a very interesting topic. So that is something about your cultures that is very nice. I'm so happy to know all this information about your cultures. You see? You see, you see how much we learned about you see how much we learned about cultures so let's see here the next one bonnie so number two what will children all right what will children get from their parents for the lunar year I mean, we already answered this one. Number three, what will people wear for shoes, shoes walk? Any, any people will return to their home to eat rice cakes. Rice cake. Yeah, that is in Japan. That in Korea. That is in Korea. In Korea, they eat a lot of rice, same as in Japan. Same as, same as in China, same as in the Philippines. Uh, do you guys, do you eat uh, much, uh, like much rice? Bonnie, I think you are mute. You are mute. Okay, I'm here, sorry. Do you eat a lot of rice like in many Asian countries? Because I know that in China, they have- Vietnam, I really like to eat. In Vietnam, always have to eat rice for the dinner. Okay, very for good. For the dinner, for the lunch. 
but but I think but in in the morning we we eat the like the most we eat is pho. Pho. Oh, uh, let me see it. How you write it? So that is a very important. Oh, this one. Yes. It's pronounced pho. Oh, very good. Very nice. So that is very good. That is very good. So very interesting to know about your, your culture. That is fine. So here we mostly here we mostly eat the fast food like McDonald's, hamburgers. <laughs> so you know Vietnam is very easy to speak. Yeah, I see that Vietnamese language is very easy. But some some but some English people they just learn they learn how to book Vietnamese and learn just too much and they say Vietnamese is so difficult they say like that <laughs> oh my god so but I see your uh, uh, your language is very easy so right. le le let's continue All right number four what kind of decorations will people put up on children's day on children day they put fish decoration okay fish decoration all right on yeah. children's day children's day they put fish decoration that is correct so let's continue okay so you already answered pretty well so now we are going to fill this chart. Look at here. So here we are having country. We are having the countries, the seasons, the celebrations and the traditions. With the words of, with the word of the words about, we are going to complete this chart. Okay, so can you tell me the countries that uh, we were reading about? Okay. We, we talk about really China. Know. What was the other one? Did you? Can I go? Can I go to the toilet? Yeah, go ahead. No problem. You can do it. Just one second. Okay, so so let's continue here, Bonnie. So then I want you to help me completing all right this exercise. So let's talk about the countries we can uh, actually we know or we learned about their cultures in the class. First one we can see here China. What is the next one? or The session I think is spring. Okay, the first one that is correct. Uh, oh no, it's gonna be the country. Remember, the first one is China. All right. What is the what is the next one? So first China. You know we talked about the Chinese year. New year. Let me see. I can't see it very well. Let me see, let me see over here, because I cannot see it very well. So what is the celebration that is the uh, is me being made? Look at here. The second is Japan. Japan, all right? So, and what is the last one? And, um, Brazil, Japan, and South Korea. South Korea, okay. Yes. That's good. That is right. Well done. Yay. And what about the season? 
Seasons? In China. China. Okay. The season of the lunar year. Winter? Winter? Let me see. That's right. Well done. And what about in, in South Korea? Um, South Korea? Fall? That is right. <laughs> and what about um, in Japan? The celebration. Celebration is um, Children's Day. Children's Day. Uh, well, Japan. Mm. And I, I think it's not like this. It's Japan is Children's Day. In your book, I think that that, uh, that is not correct. It was just a I mistake. Children's Day. Yeah, yeah. In Japan, it's chosen. Sh corrected, just in case. In Japan, it is shows Children's Day. Children's Day, okay. and also in Brazil, Carnival. I think your computer has a problem. Y yeah, it's incorrect. Maybe it was something a mistake. You know, uh, maybe uh, when it was being typed. So maybe it was uh, being done so fast, you know, but we can correct it by ourselves, no problem. Okay. Um, so let's continue here. Traditions, let's see the traditions. Okay. What about, uh, what about the traditions? Uh, so let's see. Let me see. If... What is the Chinese tradition? Can you hear me? Bonnie? Can you, hear, can you say it again? Uh, now we are going to work with the tradition. Let's see the traditions. The first one. What is the Chinese tradition? Um, Hong Bao. Okay. The Chinese tradition is, remember, no, never forget it. The Chinese tradition... Okay. All right, is to give money. All right, gift, gift, okay. gift of money. Give of money. That is correct. And what is the the Japan tradition? The Japanese tradition. Fish decorations. Fish decorations. That is right. And um, let me see here. So let's continue with uh, Let's continue with the following tradition. Let's continue with the next tradition. What about the Brazilian, Brazilian tradition? Um, Samba parade. The Samba parade. And when do they do the Samba parade in Brazil? Um, they, they was watch singers and dance, dancers. That is correct. That is correct. The Samba parade. And finally, so what is the tradition there in South Korea? Korea? Rice yeah. cakes. Rice cakes. So don't you have that in Vietnam? Rice cake? Can you can you give me a picture of rice cakes? Yeah, I, I am know. going to give you one so that you can see it very well. So look at look at this. So we're gonna Google it. So look at this. So it should be nice. Rice cake. I see that in many Asian countries, they 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 do this. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not saying like rice cake, but I'm saying like the, you know, the use of rice per se. Rice cakes. Can you see it? Yes. This oh. one. No, I think in Vietnam they do that. In Vietnam, it's still enough. Okay. Apparently, this is the the rice cake. Look at here. Okay. Oh, May I Oh, I have to give it to my mom. <laughs> it, it looks nice. So let's but continue. My mom would do this. So, Bonnie, what we are going to do for the next class, let me ask you something. So for the next class, we are going to do the following. All right, look at here. Okay. So I am going to give you a homework. So this is the page number 30 in your okay. book, right? Yes. 
So then for the next class in your book, I'm gonna give you a homework. That'll be page 30, 31 and 32. Check if you have this lesson first. 31 and 32? That is correct. So that'll be page 31 and 32. I have it. Okay. So now let me ask you this question. Okay, the okay. question here is, what will people in Japan do in a spring? Um, they celebrate children's day. That is correct. So let me ask you something that is about yourself. All right. What do you celebrate, Bonnie? Um, if, if I have a celebrate, right? Yeah, what do you... Okay, so the question here... Let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you. All right, I have a question for you. Uh, when, okay. all right, so the next question I'm having for you over here, when do you celebrate? When do you celebrate? So tell um, me the celebration. I... Uh, Bonnie, could you please tell me number one, what do you celebrate? Um, I think I have a celebrate, many celebrate, like my birthday celebrate, my mom celebrate, many, many celebrate. Many celebrations. Many celebrations. What you celebrate is a celebration. And then you celebrate your birthday, all right? Yes. And when do you- I feel like my birthday. When is your birthday? Um, in September. In September, all right. And yes. uh, let me ask you something. How do you how do you celebrate it? Um, how do you celebrate? If I have a celebrate, I will like I will play I will play and have a gift. <laughs> Very nice. So, would you invite many friends or not? To, would you invite? many friends or not too many or only the family um i think only the families because i just want our family live together oh. no husband in, no husband into my into my life okay i understand so bonnie well perfect that is very good so for the next class we are going to continue with the rest of the lesson we are going to refresh oh. on this and remember your homework the rest of page 30 and the rest of page arrived 32. That is your homework. Okay. Do I need to do uh, uh, another link? Yeah, just so far this, only page 30 and page 31 and 32. That is gonna be pretty much your homework in your, in your student book. Not workbook, not workbook. Remember a student book where what are you going to, uh, what are you going to use for your homework, Bonnie? Um, I will use student book. Oh yeah, that's right. So Bonnie, thank you so much for your time. I wish you have a fantastic rest of the day. Remember page 31 and 32. Goodbye, Bonnie. Goodbye. Bye.